Yeah, I know, right? Maybe, uh, hang on, I gotta get this. Hello? Yo, where the fuck are you at? We were supposed to meet at the spot about 20 minutes ago. Okay, so, funny story, and promise that you're not gonna get mad, but I was on my way to the spot, like we said, and I realized I left my old shoes at my old apartment, and so I need to swing by there real quick and just grab them. Wait, what? Shoe? Shoes? Fuck it, I don't give a fuck about your shoes, okay? Get to the fucking rounded point right now! But they're my limited edition 97 Air Jordans! I need those! Ah, So stupid. Hey guys, I just got done playing Dying Light 2 Stay Human, and it is one of the funnest games that I've played in a long time, guys. First off, I just have to say that the Dying Light 2 community is one of the best communities that I have had the privilege of being a part of in a very long time. It is They are some of the nicest, most non-toxic players that I've ran into online. Literally within probably the first two or three hours of me playing, starting, getting into the game, I had people come in, drop me some of the highest level gear that you can get in the game. Literally, I, I put this gear on and I didn't have to like put any gear on the rest of the game. Um, I had a guy give me a magical shotgun. I think it's called the Kadoom stick. He came in and gave me his magical shotgun that he said it was pretty difficult for him to even get. And he gave it to me. I really wish I had written down the, his, his gamer tag because man, he deserves such a huge shout out. And then I had another guy, that same gameplay episode, just come in and show me how to get a magical broom that let me fly around the map and just have all sorts of freedom and things like that and oh man like i really wish i could remember these people's names because they deserve a shout out and they were so awesome and so nice every single person that came in helped me i had people come in and help me run through missions they were way higher level than i was i just people just kept helping me all around you can send out a distress signal and people will come and join you and just some of the nicest people that you will ever meet it is so refreshing to be part of such a community of just caring gamers you know not dealing with people that are trolling and dealing with people that just want to be toxic just nice awesome gamers man it is if you're looking for a good community dying light 2 is definitely where you want to be at um the story was freaking amazing uh the voice acting was all good um the uh the parkour mechanics were awesome like all of it put together made such an incredible experience and i'm terrified of heights man and there were literally times when i'm climbing these massive towers and buildings my hands would be shaking like i didn't know if i was going to be able to finish certain missions and things like that because my hands were shaking so bad my heart was beating. i'm like sweating i'm like i'm really high up dude like i could not imagine playing this game in vr it would be so intense and absolutely insane maybe someone should port it over there i don't know i probably wouldn't play that version but... and we are high as fuck holy shit Oh my god. Look at how high up we are though, my dog. Have we made it up to the top yet? I'm seeming like I'm going back down. What the hell's happening? Yeah, I'm going down. What the hell's happening? I don't know. You press the button. <laughs> oh, I was I was gone taking a piss, my guy. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just fell! Oh no! I'm falling! So long! Okay, you're just gonna die. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still falling. It's a glitch. Uh, it's a glitch. You're right here on the elevator with me, but I, I can't revive you. <laughs> it is truly, the entire experience was just incredible. Uh, there was a new Halloween event. I think it was called the Huntress and the Hag, where some of the zombies had these creepy uh, jack-o'-lantern heads and man that added to the experience even more because like right as i got to like one basically the last mission of the game spoiler alerts by the way but right as i got to one of the last missions of the game these 
pumpkin headed zombies came out of nowhere, beat the shit out of me, and killed me a couple times. <laughs> so it was definitely a challenge getting past those guys and getting through that part of the game. And it was just creepy and awesome. The entire experience, man, I can't stop gloating it off. It's for 60 bucks for a game that came out this good and was this polished and i really didn't have any troubles with it um i played it day one i downloaded it played it day one right out the gate started playing and uh, man it just it took me for you guys know if you watch the channel i play every game on the planet i stream every game on <laughs> so it took me a long time to finish this one but man now that i'm done it it was definitely incredible. definitely worth your 60 dollars. this game is going to give you your value for sure the ending was oh man the ending was emotional it hit hard it had me like oh fuck and i got the good ending i i guess uh somebody was telling me i got the best ending in the game that you could possibly get um you save the city you save the girl you get the girl and you guys ride off into the sunset um uh, just a beautiful ending that beautiful ending shot of the sunset where you guys are walking off i got you damn this shit is emotional dude you're safe Whoa. Now, like I said, while there is, you're going to get plenty of content for your money. Um, I was kind of curious why they decided to not do the uh, multiplayer. I, I'm pretty sure Dying Light 1 had multiplayer. Now, I'm not complaining. I didn't miss it at all. I, I rare, very rarely touched Dying Light 1 multiplayer. I think I, I think it had multiplayer. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been so long, but... But I was curious why they decided not to add it in. Not that I miss it or need it at all. There's plenty of content. I still haven't... I finished the main campaign. That's it. And maybe like five or ten side missions. I man there is so much more to this game I can explore and keep doing and things like that that I still haven't done. It's crazy the amount of content you get in this game. But I, I would have kind of liked to see a, a little multiplayer mode where you get to play as the zombies or things like that. But I get why they really wanted to focus on the campaign. So like I said, I'm not missing it. I'm not upset it's not there. Just more of a curiosity why they decided to cut it. And with that being said, I will say that the graphics aren't the best. You know, the, this is an Unreal Engine 5 graphics where everything looks super realistic and cool. And even playing in 4K, I could tell, like, you know, they, they've been working on this game for a long time. And it shows that, yes, this, this game looks like something that maybe came out like four or five years ago. But still, it, it didn't bother me. Everything was there that I wanted. The gameplay was awesome and the graphics were good enough. They were fine. It, it didn't bother me to a point where I even really thought about it except for in making a review. It's really the only time that it, I had to bring it up. Like, yeah, they, they could have been better, but they were fine. They, they Like I said, it didn't take anything away from the game. One thing I will say is I wish that there were more boss zombies and I wish they forced you to encounter the zombies more. Like the one of my biggest complaints was like basically every boss fight was just you fighting the same guy. Oh God. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> Holy shit. I ripped her fucking leg off. Yeah. Veronica. Oh my god. No. What the fuck? What? What have you done to me? Showed you the truth. <laughs> it's and I really wish that there would have been more boss fights. Like give us like 10 or 15 boss fights of a different type of zombie just don't keep doing the same special infected zombie but just different creative special infected zombies do like a massive zombie and then maybe do like a really quick zombie and then do like a zombie that has like an exploding mechanic or something you know and use all of this to make these different boss fights i really wanted to see that because there are some very creative zombies in the game but because they don't force you to actually encounter them in any way and you know in any campaign missions or anything like that there's a chance that you might not even run into these zombies or you know get to experience them Christmas. 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 oh my god and so I thought it would have been a way better approach than instead of having, you know, all the boss fights just be with other humans, uh, show us some of these crazy, you know, zombies that you guys have come up with. You really would have given them a chance to showcase just how creative and artistic they were in their, uh, you know, zombie designs. Because like I said, you can go the whole game and miss a lot of these crazy special infected.
And with that being said, I will say that the actual zombie aspect of this game itself, the, the zombies aren't really a threat in the open world parts of this game. The only time the zombies really ever like did damage to me or, you know, maybe even killed me a couple of times is when I was actually in a mission. And, you know, in that mission, there was just swarms of zombies and you have to get away and fight them off and things like that. The, when you're actually in the open world just exploring, the zombies aren't a threat at all. You can completely just run by every zombie, and it, it's not going to affect you. And the problem is, I can't even think of like how you would be able to fix this. There's not really a way you can fix this in an open world game. The zombies are mostly slow. There are some sprinters, like I said, special affected things like that. But it, with it being so open and massive and such an open world game, there's really no way you can fix people just parkouring around the zombies or just running right past them. You know, you would have to get very creative with where you're placing zombies. And, you know, maybe as you're trying to parkour around buildings, have them popping out of windows or have a horde of zombies with the special infected boss suddenly up on a rooftop. I didn't really run into anything like that. But with all of that being said, guys, I will say that this game, the community, everything all around is definitely worth it. It's definitely awesome. You should check it out, especially if you like zombie games, even though I don't know if I can really call this a zombie game. It's, you know, more of a survival open world game, but it is definitely worth it, guys. And it's probably on sale by now. It took me so long to beat the freaking game because there's, the campaign's so massive. <laughs> That you could probably pick it up at, you know, at a discount price, which I would definitely, definitely check it out if you're able to do that. It is definitely worth it, guys. Trust me, you're going to love it. Um, and I, I think that's all for me, guys. I really appreciate it. I really hope you guys check the game out. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. It just helps us grow. We're, we're a small channel. We're trying to grow. But I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am the one and only Z. Bye-bye. Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. What? There's no time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. Shit. Okay. On it. I don't even have time to explain. Well, I don't have time to explain. Just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take... How fucking far... Oh. Holy shit. Yeah. We're gonna need more wax. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. <laughs> is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, then come with me. The building is. I no have something to show you. <laughs> I think it's because we don't have electricity. What the fuck is going on here? What's up guys, Z Shit here. Now if you enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. What? What that? That's it. That's all I got. Get, get the fuck.